Hey guys, Steve here. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how I use Notebook LM for SEO blogging and content creation purposes. Notebook LM is really, really good at doing certain things for blogging. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what it's good for and what it's not good for. So let's get into it. So right now I'm going to go to Notebook LM and one of the main reasons um, I use Notebook LM is to create SEO blog content outlines. Guys, if you're not creating outlines first with AI SEO tools, okay, you're not going to get the best output possible and you want to give it the best guide possible and we're going to use that with Notebook LM. And why it's really good is that I'm going to give you an example now, okay. I've entered in my keyword that I want to rank for into Google, okay, sustainable gardening for beginners right and this works for you know absolutely any keyword okay and what i'm going to do is because notebook lm allows you to add multiple different sources up to 50 sources i'm going to be adding the top ranking results in google for this particular keyword okay so i'm going to take this um entry here i'm going to take this one this one this one um, i'm going to avoid quora i'm going to avoid any kind of ugc for now uh, this one and this one okay so i'm simply going to paste them and give it uh these urls inside uh, notebook lm so go to here click on website link paste url insert and i'm simply going to do that uh one by one add source again probably should have done this before i started recording but there we go i'm um, so only going to take a second now so i'm just going to add um, a few different sources and you can add up to 50 here and why this is really good guys is because when you create in your outline uh, i don't think guardian allows uh scraping so that's why it's appeared in red here there we go um and i'm gonna take this one so why it's really good is when you create in your content outline okay you want to create your outline based upon what's already ranking because if these are the top ranking results in google already there's a reason why google likes them there's a reason they are ranking so obviously you want to take away the ideas from the top ranking results if you did this with let's just say you were doing it just in chat gbt without creating an outline first and without using these custom sources you don't know where ChatGPT is getting the information from right it could be here there and anywhere we're only taking the top ranking results currently in the SERPs because they're ranking for a reason and we want to create outlines based on those, okay? We're passing the SERPs, taking what's good out of them and making the outline out of that and then further on we create our blog from it, okay? So I think we had one more here, there we go, we had another source, website, there we go. So basically we've got all the top ranking results here for our keyword sustainable gardening um, for beginners okay sustainable gardening practices is the title that notebook lm has come up with the summary and as you can see it's come up with a summary already and if we wanted to create like a briefing doc we can here and even like a timeline or even a study guide okay we can even create a podcast based on this information which may or may not be actually helpful for your blog but we'll go on to that um, in a moment okay so we've got our uh, notes here. So this is our briefing document. So if you want basically wanted a summary of all these different sources in one place, key points highlighted, you can do it there, which is makes Notebook LM amazing for research purposes. Uh, we've also got the timeline here of um, everything that goes on. Okay, but let's stick to the topic here, yeah, SEO and blogging. Okay, so we've got our sources now. So I'm going to take my outline prompt. And you can get this, guys, the outline prompt by signing up to my Next Gen AI newsletter, which is in the description below. We send out one uh, issue a week with tips, tricks, and uh, you know, actionable business strategies with AI. Okay, so this is my prompt. And I'm simply uh, going to change the keyword here from that to uh, sustainable gardening for beginners. Okay. So basically, we're telling Notebook LM, the first task is to write a structured and comprehensive blog post outline, okay? We're telling it to write the outline first, okay? Now, I said earlier, I'll tell you what's good about Notebook LM and what's not good, okay? It's great for outlines, amazing for research, but not so good at actually writing the blogs themselves, okay? This is powered by Gemini, Google Gemini. It's not as good as Claude or ChatGPT, certainly not as good as Claude uh, for writing blogs. We make sure we do the outline here ensuring best SEO practices are followed and we're going to give it the guidelines okay the formatting uh, defining the purpose the structure and basically you know everything we want to include in this outline so that we have an SEO optimized outline to build our blog from in chat GPT or Claude etc okay so I'm simply going to do this and why this is so good is it's going to 
um, create the outline based off what's already rang in in Google. Okay, what so we've already talked about that. So let's see what uh, Notebook LM comes up with. And as we can see already, we've got the outline here. So it's given us the article purpose. It's given us the blog post title, and then it's structured it completely in an SEO optimized way. We've got the H1s, the intro, H2s, and all the different subtopics and sections, okay? And it's even given us, hopefully, the conclusion and the frequently asked questions section that we asked for. So we can then edit this if we want to. We can take away sections that we don't include. We can put additional sections in, but we've got the outline or the skeleton of what the blog post is going to, um, is going to be or going to contain. Okay, really, really awesome. And if we want to see exactly where um, each of these uh, different uh, topic points is in the information that we provided, we've got the citations here next to each point. Really, really awesome. Guys, Notebook LM really is uh, the business for um, for research purposes. It's just, it's right up there, guys. I mean, this and perplexity, they constantly blow my mind. So we've got our outline now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to chat gpt and inside chat gpt i'm going to give it my outline oops did i copy it all let's make sure we get it all okay and i'm going to copy this to chat gpt and then i'm going to use my um oops too many lsis and entities there i'm going to copy and paste my blog post prompt again you can get this by signing up to my newsletter, all right? And I'm gonna say, outline starts here. And what this is gonna do is gonna create a SEO optimized blog post based on the outline that we've given it, okay? And I'm gonna use ChatGPT for this. Um, I think Claude is slightly better, but ChatGPT is fine as well. And let's see what ChatGPT comes up with based on this outline, SEO outline from Notebook LM. And hopefully we're gonna get something really, really good straight off the bat. And we, we can, of course, edit this further and enhance it further. We can also tell it to focus or emphasize on LSIs and entities and NLP keywords and things like that. But let's see exactly what it comes up with. Okay, so it's given us our blog post here in our markdown format. So we can, um, of course, copy this code or copy it wherever we want to do. As we can see, we've got the blog post written in front of our very eyes, detailing every single um, point we've got here all the H2s, h 3 subtopics, etc., And we've even got the frequently asked questions and also the conclusion as well, okay? So we could copy this into our website or we can uh, paste it into our content editor or our content optimizer and we can do that um, again as well. So that is basically how I combine Notebook LM for creating SEO blog and content outlines and then combining it with something like ChatGPT or Claude to create the actual content itself. Now, another really awesome feature of Notebook LM is we could actually create a podcast based off this information. And then we can actually add the podcast to our blog. So it's another way of, um, I guess, you know, getting engagement or getting people to stay on your website, right? Many people also put, you know, YouTube videos on their blog posts. Um, they've got lead magnets on their blog posts, etc. Now you can put podcasts as well. So I'm, I could customize this and give it some um, custom instructions. But let's just generate something here from Notebook Island just to see what it comes up with and if it's worth adding to our blog post for sustainable gardening practices, okay? Now, it's pretty difficult for me to have a garden because I live on the 47th floor, but if I did, who knows? Okay, so we've got our podcast here now. So let's make sure that it sounds okay. I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit for this. All right, let's dig into some sustainable gardening practices today. Sounds good to me. And get this, yeah. we've got a whole stack of resources. 12 sustainable gardening tips to make your yard more eco-friendly. Awesome, okay? That sounds really good. Two presenters, one male, one female. And we can also add that to our blog post as well, okay? Really, really awesome. So hopefully uh, you liked what you saw today in this Notebook LM for SEO and blogging tutorial. Again, really awesome tool, especially for research as well. Um, it's just it's just amazing, right, guys. So whilst we're on the topic of SEO and blogging, okay, we, what we could do is we could put our outlines into ChatGPT or Claude, okay, and with some further prompting and optimization, get something that is client ready or we're happy to put on our own site. However, there is an easier way to do this. And I actually use an automated AI blogging system called Journalist AI. So if you go to the link in my description, tryjournalist.com, make sure to use the one in my description, guys, because if you do, just by entering your email address on the site, you get three free articles, no credit card required. You just simply get to test out 
all the features on the platform with three free articles to see if you like it. If you do decide to upgrade in the future or use it in your own business, you will get a discount. I've got the only discount out there right now, guys, for this platform, right? But again, try it for three articles, see if you like it, okay? No, uh, no issues there. It's an AI SEO writer that auto publishes to your blog, but it does a lot more than that, okay? That's all the formatting, adds the images, all the relevant YouTube videos, and really, really awesome. It adds external and internal links for you, okay? So if you're into SEO blogging at all, okay, you need external and internal links for your content to be able to rank on Google. Google likes this a lot, right? But the problem is this um, this part of blogging is really, really time consuming, right? Finding relevant fact-checked sources, okay, and add them in those links. Journalist Air does that for you, table of contents, and even does the outlines as well. You can also add your outline from Notebook LM to Journalist AI, okay? So go to my link in below, check out, check it out, guys. If you like what you see, get your three free articles and go crazy. But this is inside the dashboard, okay? And as we can see, this is a complete auto-blogging solution as well, including an AI SEO editor. So I wanted to add an SEO article here. I just simply enter in my keyword optional title and then add more and more and more. If I've already done my keyword research and I've got a CSV file, I can add, you know, 100, 500 different keywords into here and have blog posts built by the journalist AI engine come out for every single keyword, okay? Amazing content creation. And this is a blog post I did on how to big bread at home, okay? As you can see, table of contents, and it's got all the H2s, H3s, etc. Adds the YouTube videos, even adds the links here, okay? And this is really, really awesome, guys. Say I wanted to edit this paragraph here. I can use the AI SEO editor inside Journalist AI to do so. I can rewrite this in a number of different ways. We move format it into a list or a table. I can add extra keywords or other keywords or even take keywords out if I want to. And we can add links here. For example, I can add some external links. And again, you don't have to do all this. You can set this up at a campaign level to run an autopilot. But I can add this one here, this one here, bang, bang, bang. How easy was that, okay? No more time consumed uh, research and things like this, all right? And let's just say I wanted to add an image here. I can add an image and I can have the journalist AI engine create this image for me, okay? Oops. There we go, loaf of sliced sourdough with melted butter. And we'll have the engine generate the AI image so I can also put into my blog post, okay? Let's see what it comes up with. Hopefully there's something, oh wow, okay. Awesome, add that there. And then we've got our frequently asked questions, our conclusion, etc. So we can add our outlines from Notebook into Journalist AI. Oh, we can have Journalist AI create the outline, so it's completely up to you. But this is an amazing tool for SEO and blogging and even just general content creation, okay? You can create news articles, Amazon articles, affiliate articles. There's so much you can do with this, okay? So sign up in the link below, guys, in my description. Get your three free articles, and if you like what you see, maybe I'll see you inside the dashboard in the future, okay? So that's my Notebook LM for SEO and blogging video, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much, guys.